Like you said, uh, you're going to be back on the ice tomorrow. Just how much are you looking forward to, to getting back out there? Well, obviously, I'm excited to uh, you know get back out there and just you know probably just go for maybe 20 or 30 minutes tomorrow and uh, just kind of see how the body reacts and hopefully it, uh, it's a good one. There's going to be another new face uh, or another uh, new face, I should say, out on the ice tomorrow with Matt coming back. Um, just good to see him uh, back in the area. And what do you think he's going to bring to this team? Well, obviously, he's going to bring you know a net net front presence, uh, somebody who'll go to the net, he'll you know drop penalties, score goals. You know, he's you know I'm excited uh, to have him here. Um, you know, so he'll he'll bring a, an element of uh, you know physical play, all that kind of stuff. So you know, it's something that uh, uh, at any level to have a you know big forward, a body like him who can move and have hands like he does. Obviously, you know, once he gets up to speed, he's going to be a big asset for the club. Uh, especially, you know, with, with how stiff the competition's been this year, can you put a, a price on having another experienced veteran who, who knows how to win on the roster? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's won a Kelly Cup. He's, uh, he's, he's won a Turner Cup. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's played at this level. He's played at, uh, you know, different pro levels. Um, and I think, you know, it's, it's, gonna, it's imperative to be able to add somebody at this time of year and not have to give somebody up. You know, he's played 250-some uh, pro games, so, you know, a handful of games. He's a veteran, so, you know, he is a veteran at, at this point. And, you know, to be able to get uh, myself and him back in the lineup, Beauregard coming off, uh, off an injury too, you know, I think we're going to be an exciting team to watch. What's going to be the biggest point of emphasis with this group in the second half? I think really just consistency. You know, I think uh, you know it's time that we, we, we stop winning one and losing one. Uh, we started looking at each other, being accountable, you know, playing together, playing the team system, and, uh, and when guys aren't, making sure that uh, we as uh, as teammates hold themselves accountable. How important is it to start winning at home more consistently? Well, you know, our home play has not been acceptable, and I, and I understand that you know I haven't been out there, so it's you know it's easy for me standing here saying you know we haven't won and et cetera, blah blah blah. But you know, hey, you know the, the bottom line is is our record is not acceptable. Uh, it needs to be better, and we need to play you know more physical. We need to play harder, and the bottom line is we need to get wins at home. And, uh, and if we want to be a playoff team and make some noise, that's something that has to change. How much do you think the health of this team has improved during the All Star break? How needed was this break for this group? Well, I think, uh, you know, I think anytime you get a break, it's, uh, you know, it's going to be a positive. So, you know, I, I believe our guys, uh, you know, was, was able to get a mental break from the game. Obviously, a physical break by getting some rest, you know, with watching practice. They look energized, they look recharged, and, uh, you know, we're going to ramp it up for a big game here on Saturday.